All right, guys. It is Friday morning, and it is 6:39 a.m. And I got up. I woke up at four, a little after four, and took a shower because Thursday was not a good day emotionally. Food-wise, it was okay. If you saw my vlog from Thursday, I'll just fill you in in case you didn't. I know not everybody can watch every video. I ended up not eating very much at all on Thursday. It was a very emotional day. I was very afraid of binging because that's one of the things that happens on difficult um, therapy days is I have a tendency to binge afterwards. Luckily I didn't. I chose to sleep instead, so I'm proud of myself for not binging. Although I got off course with fasting. I was supposed to eat a full day of eating yesterday, and I know that there's no, like, rules to fasting or anything that you have to stick to, so I'm just switching it up for this week. So yesterday, since the only thing I had was that three-fourths of that yogurt parfait that I made and my coffee in the morning, I'm going to do a full eat of eating for today, maybe a full eating for Saturday full day and then I'll start fasting again on Sunday I'm not sure about Saturday yet I haven't decided but anyhow let's just stick with what today is and where we're at so like I said it's 6 40 a.m. I woke up at 4 a little after 4 maybe 4 30 took a shower and then went back to bed so I'm awake now and I haven't gotten dressed or gotten put together or anything um, I'm very hungry, but usually I just start off my mornings with coffee because I don't like to eat this early in the morning. So here's what I'm starting off with. My 32 ounces of water and my pretty tumbler that Miss Amy from Amy's Life Journey made me with coffee. Someone asked about the calories in the coffee creamer. I don't count those. I know I should. And I know that there are carbs in it, but my reasoning is there are very few calories, very few carbs, and the calories in that, I am always so under my calorie content for the day, I am not even concerned about the small amount of calories in the creamer. Um, I might start adding a few calories because I don't measure it my creamer and I'm not going to measure my creamer that's just the way I do it I know that other people will not agree but that's okay but that's just me and the way I do things because that's the way I choose to <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say about that so that's what I'm starting my day with at now 6 42 a.m. is coffee and water and I will see you guys back when I have something else probably when I get myself pulled together and we'll see what happens next. Talk to you guys soon. It is 11.34 a.m. and I'm going to have some lunch. My neighbor made me, well made for her and she gave me some lamb chops. And I've never tried them before but I tasted a little tiny bit and very good. She used olive oil and some seasoning salt. So I'm going to show you. It's 5.2 ounces. I still have more over there, but I'll have that later. So 5 point, oops, yeah, 5.2 ounces of lamb chops, as well as a golden delicious apple. That is my lunch, and that's, maybe it's 5.1 ounces. I don't know, it's like five ounces. That's what I'm gonna calculate it as. So the lamb chops, and the Golden Delicious Apple is my first meal of the day at 11.35 a.m. I will see you guys back with my next meal. It's 4.57 p.m. and I'm going to have my next bit of food. I will show you what I'm going to eat. It's a little too early for me to eat dinner. I usually eat dinner around between 7 and 7.30, sometimes push an 8, 
So I figured I would have kind of like a little snacky late lunch. I, I'm, I'm considering it a lunch even though it's pretty late because it's my second meal. So here's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have some of this summer sausage. I've already cut and weighed this, but I'm going to show you it weighed because we have some naysayers out there. So this is summer sausage. It is the, I'm not sure if you'll see my grocery haul before I put this video up. You'll probably see this before my grocery haul, but this is in my grocery haul that you'll see after this. So this is the Brigford summer sausage I bought. And this is the nutritional content. Serving size is two ounces. It's 190 calories and zero carbs for the two ounces. And then I'm also having a serving of this best choice Colby Jack cheese. And this is 110 calories and less than one gram of carbs. And then I'm also going to have another apple because the apple was so good the first time. I'm going to have another one. And then I'm also having my 32 ounces of water. I'll have to show you the apple calorie and carb content when I add it to my tracker. I think there was 13 grams of carbs in the apple, if I'm not mistaken, from the first one I had today. But I'll include it at the end. So I'm going to weigh this so I can show you guys that... I'm eating as much. Well, there's there are a couple ounces over, so not ounce, but a couple. Like you'll see. So the serving of the sausage was two ounces, and I'm having 2.4 ounces because I'm not going to get all crazy about 0.4 ounces or four grams or whatever. I'm not good at weighing, measuring. So 0. 0.4, I'm not going to get crazy about it. So there's that. And the serving size of cheese is an ounce. And it's 1.2 ounces that I'm having. So that's my second meal, second time I'm eating today. That with the 32 ounces of water at 4.59 p.m. I will be back with dinner. Alright, so we're having a really simple dinner, salad, last meal of the day. It is 8.34 p.m. and I'm having my last meal of the day. I'm having my dole chopped salad kit. It's the sunflower crunch salad and this has, let me read it to you, cabbage, romaine lettuce, kale, sunflower seeds, sweet onion, and citrus dressing, bacon crumbles, red cabbage, green onions, and carrots. So it's kind of like a coleslaw, just a coleslaw with some greens and some sunflowers and bacon. <laughs> So the calorie count on this is 180 calories per serving. There's four servings in the bag and there are 14 grams of carbohydrates, 12 net carbs. I'm only going to have half of this. The serving size is 3.5 ounces, about two cups. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to eyeball it. What I think half of the bag is pour some dressing on it, pour some of the sunflower seeds on it, and then call it a day. I'm not extremely hungry. I was going to have half of it and then fix some chicken, but with the lamb chops that I had today, as well as the summer sausage, that was a lot of protein, and it has kept me quite full and quite satisfied, along with the cheese as well. So I'm really not too hungry. I am hungry and I'm not going to go, you know, all night without eating because that wouldn't be good. It would make me too hungry for morning. Probably. And I still haven't decided that if I'm going to 
fast tomorrow or if I'm going to have a full day of eating to put myself back on the schedule that I have that I'm following or if I will just start with the new schedule on Sunday I'm not I haven't decided yet I'll decide when I wake up in the morning depending on how hungry I am so we'll just go with that and that's how I'll decide or maybe I'll just do one meal tomorrow one meal a day I don't know we'll see when tomorrow comes you guys will be surprised I'll be surprised so I'm going to put half of this in the bowl and I'm gonna go eat because it is getting quite late and I will see you guys in the next video the calorie content for this meal as well as the totals for the day will follow this and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye everyone Boop. <laughs>